Welcome back to Good Day. We all know what's happening 20 days from today. A total eclipse of the sun in Toledo is in the path of totality. But what happens here on Earth when this amazing solar event is taking place? We well, we'll be able to see it and how will birds, insects and plants respond. So scientists will be doing a lot of <laughs> studying of that. Yeah, there's some interesting things happening here. Dr. Kevin Sykowski of the Department of Geography and Planning and Dr. Mike Cushing, a professor of physics and astronomy and director of Ritter Planetarium have those answers for us this morning. Good morning. Thanks morning. for being here today. Yeah, thanks. yeah, so there's a lot to look forward to. Uh, first of all, let's talk about excitement. How excited mm -hmm. are you all to experience this? Oh, just of, well, excited so much that, you know, I stopped everything I'm doing. <laughs> but, you know, uh, planning for the solar eclipse, I've been working with teachers and students, uh, assistant scientists too. And, yeah, I wanted to talk about that, is that we're going to have an opportunity to study the weather for NASA, and people can do that. They can get an app on their phone called the Globe Observer app and s take temperature measurements and cloud measurements during the solar eclipse and see how it changes. And we've been doing research at the University of Toledo on how the weather changes during the solar eclipse. Yeah, what awesome. can we expect? Well, how do we expect? Well, that's the a good question. Uh, temperature should go down, okay. mm -hmm. and um, maybe the clouds will get a little lower. You know, less clouds. Mm -hmm. And we found that in the 2017 solar eclipse that the temperature went down in some places up to 10 degrees, mm. and then the clouds uh, dissipated. So you could actually see the solar eclipse a little better. Uh, depends on what type of clouds. If it's cumulus clouds, you know, the puffy ones, mm -hmm. then um, they might disappear as the sun, you know, gets uh, dark, you know, darker, gets blocked. Okay. Yeah, so how? Oh, interesting. Okay, because yeah, we were worried about clouds, yeah. you know, well, this time of year. So. We'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, that's we'll, right. We'll, 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 we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah. So with this research, uh, you guys take this research, so uh, like you mentioned in 2017, yeah. and, and how does this research help with just furthering science and just understanding weather? Well, that's a good question. We, we sometimes wonder, well, is it a big deal that we're studying solar eclipses <laughs> in the weather? And, you know, it's a it's small uh, field because the solar eclipses don't happen that often. But uh, it does help us understand how the energy budget works, you know, how the sun heats the earth, how the energy escapes the space, and how the clouds change. The other thing, though, you mentioned the insects and animals. Mm -hmm. I know Toledo Zoo is doing a soundscape program with mm -hmm. NASA in which they're going to listen to see how the animals change, you know, the sounds they make during the solar eclipse. And that can play into uh, connect with the weather and yeah. solar eclipse it, too. It, very interesting. it seems so mm -hmm. interesting just studying the animals and the insects mm -hmm. the sounds they make just for that short period of time. Yeah. Uh, so do you think that they will respond and react to this? That they should. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know in 2017 I could hear the crickets came out, oh. right, during That's totality. So cool. And so we'll see what happens and you know we're hoping students and uh, citizen science help yeah. us out with that. Yeah, so, well, then everything just goes back to normal, like three and a half minutes later or however long Well, I it? think it's more like an hour it About takes hour. to get okay. back to oh, uh, okay. wow. normal. And, yeah. And you all have experienced these before, yeah? I have never seen a total solar oh. eclipse, no, so I'm okay. really excited to see one. This is this is to be the first one I've ever seen. Wow, and so the University of Toledo is doing a lot, has been doing a lot leading up to this. So yeah. how can people get excited about it now and get involved? So the planetarium has shows on Friday evenings and Saturday afternoons on the eclipse, mm -hmm. um, right up through the weekend before. So if you're interested in learning, you know, why eclipses happen and the, the interesting science that happens, come by and, and see a show. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, so those shows are held when? 7.30 p.m. Um, on Friday evenings and then 1 p.m. on Saturday afternoons. The Saturday afternoons program is slightly more child focused. Okay. But honestly, these two programs are great for everybody. Yeah, so if yeah. you can't make it on Friday, then come on Saturday. And this is not an experience that you're just looking at a television as folks are right at home. So no. explain uh, how immersive this is. <laughs> yeah, we, I mean, we have a 40 foot dome that sits above you in the planetarium and we project a three, I don't want to say 3D, but a sort of immersive Mm -hmm. program over your head and so you really do feel like you're sort of outside or the stars are above you um, it's, a, it's a really great experience yeah when you definitely can't get at home so <laughs> check that out and then I know the university is also doing an event on Eclipse Day if you're looking yep. for somewhere to go that's right uh, to experience it um, yeah we're we've been very excited about this have you you have experienced in a total eclipse? Well, I went no? to Kentucky for the 2017 one, one and was ex spectacular. So yeah. yeah. So so explain to our viewers what what can they expect uh -huh. to see since you were able to experience it in 2017. <laughs> um, uh, will they be able to take their glasses off at a certain point? Well, like, you how, know, how do you I think time Michael that? will be better to answer that question <laughs> yeah. than me. Okay. Yeah, I mean, in, in, in Toledo, it'll start around 1:55 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, and the moon will just start to move in front of the 
the sun. It takes about an hour for it to completely move across it. Okay. Um, and so totality happens at about 3.15 in the afternoon in Toledo. Mm -hmm. okay. um, during the partial phase, where it's not completely covering the sun, you can't look at the sun directly because okay. it'll hurt your eyes. So you want to use eclipse glasses. Mm -hmm. If you don't have those, you can actually make pinhole cameras using pasta strainers mm -hmm. or the leaves of We did it of with a shoebox last yeah, week. A yeah, a shoebox, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, during totality, for the minute to three or four minutes that you have, you can take your eclipse glasses off and just stare at the majesty of the, of the eclipse mm -hmm. happening. Wow. And then okay, when it, I had that wrong. I yeah. thought, it, okay, cool. It's absolutely safe to look at mm -hmm. a total eclipse. Okay. Um, and then as soon as the moon starts to move off right. and you get a sort of burst of yeah. bright light, that's when you want to put your... Because the eclipse. sun is blocked at that point. That's mm -hmm. right. It's, it's the, safe. The, the, the surface of the sun, the mm -hmm. really bright part of the mm -hmm. sun is blocked. And what you'll see is the sort of ghostly um, halo around the sun. Mm -hmm. it's, it's called the corona. It's the outer atmosphere of the sun that we just don't see during the daytime mm -hmm. because the surface is so bright. And, and I believe the last time Toledo had a total solar eclipse was 1806. So is there any research from all the way back then? Was anything <laughs> documented back then? And, and what did they learn, if so? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, eclipses, obviously, we've had eclipses for, you know, thousands of years. Um, once the scientific revolution started, people started actually going to them to try to understand them. Um, and probably the most famous example was the confirmation of Einstein's general theory of relativity um, and the turn of the 20th century. There was an eclipse and we were able to actually see starlight bent around the Earth because of the curvature of space-time. Wow. So wow. it's not just an amazing, beautiful thing. It mm -hmm. also helps us understand the universe. Yes, and this is all happening and you don't want to miss out because there's not going to be another one until what? 2099? 2099, 2099 yeah. It's going to be a, yeah, in Toledo. In Toledo. Yeah. It's going to be a minute. So we have a rare opportunity to make sure that we get our glasses now if you don't have them. Yeah. Get your glasses and make sure to get outside and, you know, get excited ahead of time and come and check out the planetarium. Absolutely. If you haven't been there. Yeah. You excited? Oh, yeah. I'd love people to take observations using the Globe Observer app. And I think the QR code is on the screen. Mm -hmm. So you can just use your cell phone and take cloud and air temperature observations and help NASA out, help the University of Toledo mm -hmm. out in doing our research. So I bet cool. all of our meteorologists already have it downloaded. They do. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very cool. And I can't, we've been, we've been talking about it for so long now. Yeah. We're like, let's go, uh -huh. let's do it. Yeah, it's, it's going to come and we've been waiting on it and it's going to get here and then it's going to be over. And it's yeah. like, wow, <laughs> we actually experienced mm -hmm. something right. like that. So yeah. really looking forward to yeah. it. Hopefully no cloud cover here in Toledo. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you can predict that this far out. Not, not yet, but <laughs> it's getting close to where we're starting close. to see the edges of yeah. the forecast, you know, the long-term yeah. forecast. But Fingers crossed. Hope so, yes. Yeah. It'll be good either way. Yeah. Yeah. Gentlemen, thank you for being here today. You're welcome. I appreciate Thanks. it. Yeah. Still to come on Toledo's most local 9 a.m. show. It's time for something sweet mm. from a tree. All right. The Maple Syrup Festival <laughs> is this weekend in Williams County. A preview with taste testing when Good Day mm. continues. Yum.